Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane. And Michael Lane is who I be. You all know about my show, my radio show, my blog talk radio. Uh, it's All the links are right down there. You know what I'm saying? Smacktongue.com, all that, man. Spread the word. Tell a friend. Tell a friend about this channel and my other channel as well. Hey, check it out, man. Check it out. Check it out. All the information is down there. I've been going through some stuff personally, you know what I mean, dealing with certain stuff, man, I ain't gonna talk about it, you know, I ain't, gonna, you know, I ain't like that, I'm not that type to talk too personal, but what I'm, what I'm going to say is that a lot of things have passed by, a lot of things that happened, and I want to catch up on it, I want to talk about it, I may not deal with it all the time on my radio show, because things are steady moving, so I'm going to use this page to, you know, talk about stuff that happened, and give my take on it, and we're going to go all the way back to the NFL draft on this one. We're going to talk about Michael Sam and the controversial kiss. The kiss hurt uh, seen all around the world. And we're going to tell you why it was seen all around the world because it was the media's doing. But first off, I'm going to tell you, I, uh, personally, I was, I was happy for Michael Sam. Not because uh, Michael Sam, who he is, what he does, and all that, what he does in the bedroom. No, no, no. Well, ain't that special? No, I'm not that type of stupid idiot. I'm talking about, I was happy for him just as much as I was happy for the other people that were drafted, and they showed their emotions. I thought that was pure. I don't care if it was, it, it, I don't care if it was, uh, what kind of sexuality they were. There were men drafted way before him, way before him. And they held their son, and they cried, and they, you know, gave their son a kiss on the forehead, and the tears running down. That was gen. I mean, that 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 was cool. That's what the NFL draft is all about. Now, a lot of people were like, "Oh, oh, oh, wait, wait, the kiss." There were people that were upset by the kiss, not because of what you think. Now, the now the media who was who was spinning this and turning this all around and twisting it, playing all these little games. They're saying that they were just upset about the kiss. Let me, let me break it down to you. It is a normal reaction, whether you're with your, uh, your domestic partner, heterosexual partner, polygamous partners, whatever it is, hetero, homosexual, or any other type of sexual. You are happy, and you are with the one you love. You're going to show that. You're going to hug, and you're going to kiss your mate. There's nothing wrong with that. What Michael Sam did was normal. Was a normal reaction. If you're with the one you love, you love, you're going to react in that way. But that's not the problem. The problem is this: the media and their commercials, their agenda, their force feeding, just throwing this gay agenda in your face. ESPN, we all know ESPN is far left, ABC, Disney, they're far left. It's not about having, it's not about sending a message, it, I mean it's not about children, it's not about sports, it's not about, it's about pushing the liberal agenda. That's what it's about. Uh, the NFL, they're not about sports anymore. They're not about football. They could give a damn about that. They're about socially, socially making changes that is uh, agreeable of the liberal nation. I, I don't know why I keep calling them liberals, because in the classic sense of the word, they're not liberals and they're not progressives. Something far more dangerous with that, but I, we're going to use that word just for the sake of using that word. Michael Sam did what you're supposed to do it's just it comes it comes naturally but the media played it over and over and over and over ESPN all these sports networks they didn't play him making plays down the field because he's he really not that great of a player we're talking about a watered-down college football league he was a great player in college is watered down. You got two billion schools and five trillion players. But anyway, they played it over. They didn't show his plays out there on the football field. They may have showed him saying, yeah, or ho. Oh. But the rest, kissy poo, kissy poo, kiss, 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 kiss. And then you turn the station, CNN, kiss, kiss, kiss. 
all of the stuff they showed it over and over CNN of course MSNBC uh, ABC see even the local affiliates showing the kiss over and over and over again that was the problem and then we got to admit we got to tell the truth it was fixed he was going to get drafted look at the coach and listen to the coach's words from the uh, St. Louis Rams Jeff Fisher he said that I'm glad that we made history I'm proud that we made history made history that's funny because people talking about his they wouldn't say they're glad to make history if they drafted a polygamous player, a first openly polygamous player. And let's get the, uh, uh, please, please, let's talk about this. Michael Sam is not the first openly gay player to play in professional sports. Have you ever watched the WNBA? There's more openly gay players than a little bit. So why are we making a big deal about this? We, not, we didn't even put down male. We just dissed the, the lesbians like, whatever. So I believe the lesbians should, if they, if they complained about that, they are in the right. And I stand with the lesbians. It, because, they're, because you make a big deal for Michael Sam, and you don't make a big deal out of Brittany Griner. You don't make a big deal out of Simone Augustus. Come on now. But anyway, they played the kiss over and over and over again. If you were born this way, why are you trying to indoctrinate? If you were born this way, why are you trying to brainwash? If you were born this way, why are you trying to desensitize? It's natural, right? And that was the point. And everybody had a right to speak out against that. When we, it was, a, this is not, not against Michael Sam. This was against the media. The media and the president, I'm, I don't care what anybody says. We all know about the president's sexuality. And the president pushes this more than any we have ever seen. And I know he worked this out. He probably called the, the Roger Goodell. Well, we got to make it happen and make him one of the last draft each. And so I can call him and he can be my new body man. I'm so sick of this president. Take care of this country. Which is, do what you're supposed to do. Not take care of this country because he, he's taking care of it all right. But you're supposed to do the right thing. But this man is on a homosexual kick that is unbelievable. For somebody who was alleged not to not uh, you know not to be against to be against gay homo I'm against gay marriage. That's why there was no uproar, because they knew he was a liar. They know his lifestyle. But anyway, that's another subject. Let me get back to this. It's not Michael Sam's fault. Michael Sam did what anybody else would do, whether he had a uh, domestic partner or another partner. doesn't matter. But it's the media. And it's the liberal movement where people can't even tweet and say something, oh, this is, and have their own opinion about it. You have to think the way we think, or don't say anything at all. You don't have a right to say anything at all, unless it's what we think. That's the NFL. And so the Dolphins took them to sensitivity training. If, oh my gosh, this is just so crazy. This is stupid. This is the dumbest group of people in America that I have ever experienced. And we're sitting there and we're accepting this stupidity. That way, and in turn, we're becoming just as dumb as these other people. You don't have a free, you don't have the right to say anything of your opinion, whether you agree. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to agree with it. But let them say it. Let people say whatever the hell they want to say. I don't like people when people walk around and say, I can't stand these niggers. But guess what? I'm going to let you say it. I don't like when people turn around and say, I don't like fat people. Fat people are disgusting. But you have the right to say it. I hate, I hate that. I hate when people uh, get that weight discrimination and all that stuff. But they, people have every right to say that. Whether you agree or disagree. Let's not get the meat. 
the media, oh my gosh. Let's get, let's break this media chain. Let's break it. They, they think we're having the idiot box raise us. Tell us what to think and how to think. And they know the power of the media. That's why the liberals are doing it. They own the media. Those broke bastards. They can relate to poor people so much. But that's, that's what's going on with Michael Sam. It wasn't the kiss. It was the kiss that was played over and over and over. We know your game, media. I know your game. And you better be careful, Michael Sam, because you look like you're not really focusing on football with that own documentary, even though it was, it, it was postponed. It's, it's postponed for now. But your mind is on sexuality. You better get your mind on some football. You may make the, make the team anyway. That's sad. That's my thoughts. But if he's good, he should make the team. If he's not, and he makes the team, I think he's going to make the team anyway regardless. Because it's not about football anymore. It's not about sports anymore. It's about liberalism. Like it or not. Oh, 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 oh,